morning, America, and all the folks downstairs. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm Diane Sawyer. It's Wednesday, April 26, 2000. And an amazing but little-known procedure that literally rebuilds the spines of scoliosis victims. That's in our next hour. And we'll tell you another subject we have in this half hour. It is a devastating disease. It leads to disfigurement, disability. But scoliosis, our curvature of the spine, is often correctable with a little known but truly miraculous procedure. And we're going to find out how it's helping patients rebuild their lives just ahead. 12 million people around the world suffer from scoliosis. And for some, this disease that causes abnormal curvature of the spine keeps getting worse, producing incapacitating pain deformity as well but there is an amazing procedure available that can help even if too few people know about it we are joined now by mary baldy she is a nurse whose life was changed by this operation for scoliosis and also joined by dr alexis shelikoff one of a handful of surgeons who perform this rather complex procedure and i thank you both uh, for being with us thank you john mary when i think of scoliosis it's a, it's a young person's uh, problem um, but I gather in many people it does progress onto adulthood and keeps getting worse. worse. That's true, Charlie. Uh, although as a teenager, I, I knew I had something. Uh, I had a hip that was higher. I uh, also had uh, my clothes did not fit as well. But as I, as I got older, uh, I found that it got progressively worse and I began to and I would say in the last 10 years it has been the worst where let me tell you exactly how it goes kind of point by point I uh, now was uh, had a large hump on my back mm -hmm. my, my whole chest cavity had taken on this deformity uh, I had I had lost my waistline I had a hip that was higher I'm going to interrupt you for a minute because we're looking at an x-ray of, of, of the way your spine was configured before you went through this procedure. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you, you have a very characteristic sort of S-curve there to the that, spine that's causing all of these uh, symptoms that you talk about. Right. And it had progressed. Um, ten years ago, I had a 59% curve. And it had progressed in the last 10 years another 20 degrees. Now, now this surgery is, is fairly radical, right? Well, it's complicated, it's time consuming, but uh, in its simplest form, uh, the idea is to make the spine first more supple or mobile, mm -hmm. and uh, then from the, either from the front or the back of the spine, correct the curve and fuse it into a stable and uh, uh, upright position. When you operate, you go in from both the front and the back? Uh, yes, in Mary's case, she had a surgery on the same day, uh, one incision from the front or from the side, actually, right. and one incision uh, from the back. And do you brace the spine, or do you reconstruct it so that it can stand on its own? You reconstruct it, but you actually put a, a spinal instrumentation system in, which is like a cast, if you will, an internal cast uh, that holds the spine stationary until it fuses into the new stable and uh, solid position. And, and does that brace that internal brace, I'm using that phrase if, if you'll accept it, does that stay in? That stays in and Mary's uh, rods are in, They're, they've done their job, uh, they don't cause her any symptoms, um, their, their purpose really has been uh, fulfilled mm -hmm. and uh, now they're secondary to the fact that she's standing straight, her waistline's been reconstructed, uh, her pain's gone, and uh, her, her bones have solidly fused. Did you get, because I know one of the things is you get sort of hunched over, and did you get taller right away? I, I got two t inches taller, and it was not only two inches physically, but I think it was um, emotionally and mentally I grew two inches that one day considerable pain because this is a complicated procedure and the, the doctor went that long a lot of pain it's considerable pain because your ribs begin to when you sit in a soft chair your ribs begin to meet your hip bone mm -hmm. and so those are rubbing together you also uh, because of the hump deformity now you're talking about pain beforehand I'm talking about with the operation but with the operation um, the pain I no longer have any lower back pain at all Terrific. It's just a tremendous difference. I think Charlie's asking the question, did the operation hurt? Oh, <laughs> um, well, I was asking about pain afterward, if there's, if there's continuing pain, and I gather the answer to that is no. 
and pain can be managed very, very well. And uh, Alexis really did a good job of pain management. So is it a painful procedure? Um, I would say your pain can be managed during well, that time to I an think acceptable we do some level. Interesting things, and, mm -hmm. and now we give patients spinal anesthetics after we put a small catheter or tube up next to the spinal cord, mm -hmm. put medications directly on the cord so you're awake, but you don't have the levels of pain that we associated with this procedure 20 years ago. And still not many people I gather with scoliosis in adulthood know about all this. I hope we bring it to their attention today. Mary Baldy, thanks very much. Thank you so much. Dr. Shalikoff, thank you for being here.